Do you like diamonds? Because in this video, I'm showing you 28 ways to steal them in Minecraft. From Mr. Beast, Jelly, Sunday, and my sister, Keely. We are going to be building a diamond drone in Minecraft. And these are the two crafting recipes that we need to craft very quickly. This is the drone core for the diamond drone. Then we need to craft four separate motors for it. There we go, four drone motors. Now we're gonna put the drone core down over here like this, and then we throw down each motor individually, and look at how it just like attaches to it. It's so cool. Now we're gonna pick up our diamond drone. We're gonna keep that for later. The next thing we're gonna be crafting, they are called diamond saplings. I know this sounds really, really strange, but just bear with me for a moment. We need about a stack and a half of diamonds, 10 oak saplings, and it turns into diamond tree saplings. Now you might be wondering, Preston, how do you steal diamonds with these two items? Well, let me show you. All right, so this is Mr. Beast's house in front of us. By the way, guys, do not forget to leave a like on this video if you want to see more ways to steal diamonds. If you didn't know, Mr. Beast is starting a Minecraft YouTube channel soon, and we are going to be collabing and doing videos together. Hopefully, there will be a link in the description so you guys can go subscribe to his channel. I have been asking him for the link, and he has yet to send it to me. So if it's not in the description, I've been trying, okay? Wait for it. Oh, uh, there he is, the legend himself. Mr. Beast as he leaves with his diamond pick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this works. I've yet to test this out. We're gonna throw the drone out in the air. Then we're gonna use our drone remote control. Okay, so check this out. When we press the space bar, it drops the diamond tree saplings we made earlier. And what these do, they'll branch out through the glass and grab diamonds from Mr. Beast's house. No, I'm not I'm not kidding. It's it's ridiculously overpowered and it's so much fun. Look at this. He's even got the Mr. Beast logo above his house. It actually looks really good. Okay, come on. Come on. One more tree. This is where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. Just watch as the trees absorb the diamonds from his house. There are Oh my gosh, dude. There are so many diamonds. <laughs> this is so epic. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, my Minecraft is literally lagging because there are so many diamonds being pulled out of Mr. Beast's house. This is insanity! I have stolen a lot of diamonds in Minecraft from other YouTubers, but I have never, ever stolen diamonds this way. I might have to put this down as one of the coolest ways in Minecraft I have ever stole diamonds legitimately. Look at this! Some of the diamonds are going to the roots of the trees. That's how overpowered these things are. Now we just have to punch the trees over and over again. All of the diamonds will fall off of the branches and then we can scoop them up. This is so cool, dude! Hear me out. If you thought that was a cool way to steal diamonds in Minecraft, you are not even ready for this next method. This is the next thing we're gonna be crafting. This is a portable bank, and it literally has bank tellers inside of it, as you guys can see from the villager spawn eggs. So, these crafting recipes are starting to get difficult to make. They're just so robust. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, it literally made an entire bank. I mean, I knew it was gonna make an entire bank, but dude, this is an example of what's inside the bank. So right now, currently, I am the bank right now. I, I can't move, I can't do anything. And as you can see, inside the bank, there are bank tellers. This is probably the most legitimate thing I have ever done in Minecraft. Viewers, we are now a bank in front of Mr. Beast's house. Will this work? Only time will tell. While we're waiting, do me a quick solid, guys. Take the device to watch this video on. Turn it like this. Make that red subscribe button gray. Enable those notifications so you never miss out on a brand new video. Oh, hold on. Speaking of which, <laughs> we've not only got Mr. Beast, we've got Chandler with the Frosted Beast t-shirt on. LOL, where did this bank come from? Ah, uh, look at the, 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 he's like, he's inspecting it. Top Minecraft Java server, massive mine, insane server events, weekly update, go to preston.cosmicprisons.com or the description to play for free. I love the detail of his Minecraft character. He's even got the beard. He's got the Mr. Beast logo, and it actually looks really good. It does look suspicious. Look, I'm gonna say this. If a Minecraft bank appeared in front of my house randomly, I don't know if I would trust it. Although, it does seem like they're kind of trustworthy, and for some reason, the villager spawn eggs did not skin. They are Steve's and Alex's, and this looks even more suspicious. He's got his diamonds in his hands. Will he make the deposit, ladies and gentlemen? Only time will tell. Come on, Jimmy. 
Oh, he's making the deposit. There is a fat deposit going on right now. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? You're picking up what I'm putting down, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my question is, how many diamonds was that exactly? I wasn't able to pay attention. It looked like he threw like five stacks of diamonds. Chandler, go, go. <laughs> dude, I need you to leave. Chandler, listen, I love you, buddy. I follow you on Twitter, but you need to leave. I, I need to get these diamonds. We're looking around. Left is clear. Right is also clear. It's time to turn back into a human. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. If you press F, you can see the inventory. And this is how many diamonds Mr. Beast deposited in the bank. That is a full hot bar of diamonds. Nine stacks to be exact, which is actually close to what we got from the diamond trees, surprisingly. The next way we're gonna steal Mr. Beast's diamonds is- Oh, oh, hold on. Is that a diamond Lamborghini? <laughs> what? Hold on. He's even got a garage that works. Okay, this might be perfect. I may or may not have a helicopter. And I may or may not be using it to steal this diamond Lamborghini. I was just gonna use it to steal the roof of his house, which is made of solid diamonds. But I think taking his Lamborghini made of diamonds would be even better. This is gonna require a little bit of crafting. So we've got iron ingots, which are gonna make single chains. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these to the giant crafting table over here. Then you place them all in a row like this and you get a giant chain, powerful chain that can lift heavy objects and penetrate glass. This is a massive chain. It's as big as my Minecraft character. Now we go deeper into the laboratory to find my helicopter. Dude, I love this thing. It was it was not cheap. Um, do not invest in a helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. You do not get your money back. We have arrived at the Mr. Beast house. I'm gonna need my headset for this one because I need to know if we're able to break the glass at the top of his garage so we can get the diamond car. All right, be, be, hey, hey, helicopter, slow down. Slow, 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 slow. There we go. Nice and easy does it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, come on. There we go. Oh, please get this. Oh, is he gonna get the glass? Oh my gosh, it literally just shattered the glass. Okay, chain is connected. <laughs> Prepare for liftoff, audience. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Wait, did Jimmy just see that? No, Mr. Beast. You didn't see anything. Go back in your house. You're not supposed to spot us right now. Oh, he didn't see us. He said, who's in there? This is starting to get ridiculous. I'm sure you guys have all watched Mr. Beast at some point in time. He makes great videos, so if you haven't, you should. This is a picture of me on my Instagram. Go follow it, by the way. When we won the Airsoft Battle Royale tournament he hosted in Los Angeles, California, we won $100,000 split between three of us. It was epic. And that brings me to my next point. We are going to be making a last to leave service Circle wins $10,000 challenge in Minecraft. The reason I mention all of that is because we right now have crafted a circle, but it's going to be our decoy. And the best part about it is I even have a decoy. Hello, Daniel. You are not real, but you are going to be our decoy. Then underneath, we're going to place a super dispenser down. This thing is crazy. I'm filling it with TNT and then I've got a remote to activate it. It will automatically dispense all three stacks of TNT at once and everybody in the circle will definitely blow up. Daniel, I salute you for your service, brother, but you are not going to make it out of this one. I'm so sorry. Mr. Beast, I need you to take the bait. Yes, Mr. Beast, take the bait. I know you see that circle last to leave challenge. He's in the circle. <laughs> he types in easy. I do this for a living, lol. Well, the question is, Jimmy, do you explode for a living? Three, two, one. Super dispenser activate. Oh, my. can you guys see that? <laughs> Okay, I think we filled up the super dispenser with just a little bit too much TNT. Audience, Daniel has survived the explosion by some miracle. Yes, Jimmy's diamonds. Why did this man have this many diamonds on him in a last to leave circle challenge? Clearly, he got too excited, headed to the circle, forgot to deposit his diamonds. We are making big plays right now. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a living, breathing, giant $1 million bill that we are going to use to steal Mr. Beast diamonds yet again. You will need 12 emerald blocks, and then you will need 16 pieces of linen, eight pieces of cotton, and then you get the million dollar bill with Jimmy's face plastered all over it. It's actually a really good picture of him and very high resolution. 
And to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to clear a little bit of this grassy area, place down just a few chests. I think three will be perfect. I'm going to fill these up with 64 diamonds each. Now watch what happens when you place down the $1 million bill. As you can see, it follows me and listens to my every command. It absorbs the diamonds similar to the diamond oak saplings we placed down in the first way to steal his diamonds. And then he's like a sponge. So if you right click him, he will release every single diamond he collected. Wait, are you holding out on me? Is there any more diamonds in you? Hey, he was holding extra diamonds out on us. Hey, you know what? I will let you keep a few extra diamonds, but you gotta promise me you're not gonna keep more than you collect, okay? I need you to steal Mr. Beast's diamonds. Yes, keep it going. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> okay, he just broke his front. You weren't supposed to break his house. All right, now I'm gonna have to pay for these damages. Yo, okay, let's just calm down. If you are any more loud, Mr. Beast is going to hear you inside of his house collecting all of his diamonds. Hey, are you listening to me, Million Dollar Bill? Can you do it a little bit more quietly? Okay, listen, listen, you are doing a phenomenal job, but you gotta be more quiet. No more breaking anything inside of Jimmy's house. You understand me? I think he understands. Look at this dude, he is going crazy. He's literally just going around the house. Okay, I think we have enough diamonds. Listen, listen, Million Dollar Bill, we've got enough diamonds. It is time to evacuate. Jimmy can come back at any moment in time. I forgot to mention the million dollar bill is extremely, extremely greedy and he will basically not stop until he has absorbed every single diamond. Let's see what the damage is today. Oh, my Minecraft froze from the amount of diamonds that just popped out of the, he froze my Minecraft. Wait a sec. Oh, I can't even pick these up. What, what am I supposed to do with all these diamonds? Guys, there is like, uh, okay, I need to go. I need to make a chest. I made two double chests just to see how many diamonds. No, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, can you not? No, I'm trying to show the audience how many diamonds you collected, and now you are absorbing. <laughs> can you stop it? Okay, I would say, judging by how overly filled this chest is, over two double chests worth of diamonds. Can you stop it, million dollar bill? Can you? No, why were you? You are refusing to listen to your leader. This is what I get for using the living, breathing $1 million bill. Let's just get into the next way to steal his diamonds. Our boy, Mr. B still has no idea who has been stealing all of his diamonds. So he invited me to a $100,000 hide and seek inside of Minecraft. We've got Chris, we've got Chandler, and we've got your boy, Garrett. I love how he jumps while explaining and whichever one of you I find last wins. You guys have 20 minutes to find your spots. Dude, that is way more time than I will ever need. Okay, oh, Chris and Chandler have booked it. All right, let's go. The only hide and seek rule is that we have 20 minutes and the last person found wins. So we are going to quickly try to craft this diamond drill. As you can see, wait, is this the recipe right here? This indeed is the recipe. It's kind of a complicated one, but we don't have a lot of time. Come on, Preston, we need to craft faster. This is the drill core for the diamond. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Diamond drill bit. Okay, we gotta, we gotta act fast. Yes, the hand drill has been connected, ladies and gentlemen. The diamond hand drill. It's very tiny, but I promise it packs a punch. I don't know how much time has passed, but I wanted to show you guys how the drill works. You can mine through any type of dirt, but the problem is, I don't know why, I can't mine through Jimmy's house. If you try to mine through Mr. Beast's house, it just tells you that Mr. Beast has his house protected. Come on, there's gotta be a way inside. How do we get inside of this house? <laughs> oh no, dude. My perfect plan is about to go to waste. Oh, what is that? Wait, I see a patch of grass inside of his house. Where is that? Wait a second, yes. Okay, how do we get up here? Oh, this is bad. Sorry, Jimmy, I had to break a piece of, oh, come on, man. All right, parkour skills, activate. Yes. Okay, where do we wanna go hide? Where do we hide? I don't know exactly where to hide. I hope he doesn't suspect us to be inside of his house. He has an indoor pool. Why don't I have an indoor pool inside of my Minecraft house? Preston, this is not the time to be bitter or upset. Wait a second, what is this? Is this a diamond ATM? Wait a second, I have an idea. I don't know if this is gonna work. What? It is spewing diamonds everywhere. Okay, listen, calm down. ATM, you are going to give me away. I think I see Mr. Beast's name tag. Come on, stop, 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 stop. You're making too much sound, ATM. Shut off. Yes, no, you need to stop spewing diamonds on me. Like, I really appreciate this, but we don't have a lot of time before he starts seeking us. Stop, stop. Guys, how do you stop an ATM when it's spewing out diamonds? This thing isn't even big enough to hold this much diamonds. I don't even know how this is possible. Does this ATM have some kind of diamond compression machine inside of it or what? 
Stop it, ATM. Okay, my inventory is about to fill up, which means I'm not gonna be able to hold any more diamonds, and this is going to give away our hiding spot. Preston, come out, you won. No, 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 no. I don't I don't I don't believe this. I do not believe Mr. Beast for a second. I've gotta go. Is that him? Where's he at? Dude, I don't wanna get caught. Okay, I'm going down, guys. We're going deep. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We can do this. I'm going all the way down to bedrock if I can. Oh, that's a ravine. Okay, let's not die here. How far down can we go exactly? I have not tested this thing this much. Oh my gosh, it can break bedrock. Oh, okay. You know what? I hate to do this, but I've got to get rid of a few extra diamonds. Oh no, you can't actually collect the resources. No. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to tunnel up inside of here. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait. Oh no. <laughs> I fell through the void. Come on, man. There goes all the diamonds and the drill. For the grand finale, we are going to be shrinking Mr. Beast's house. I know this sounds like it's impossible. I've only tested this on myself before and never with an actual building, but I'm like 99% sure it's going to work. Hopefully this is going to work on my demonstration house. Oh, yes, yes, let's go. Okay, keep shrinking, keep shrinking. This is insane. Oh, look at this. Not only does it shrink, but if I scroll with my mouse wheel, it will pull it closer to me or it will even push it away from me. This is crazy. I'm literally holding a house. Now, if we left click again with the shrink, oh, it brings the house back to full size, which means Operation Shrink Ray was a success. I really hope this works. I'm just wanting to shrink the tip of his house, if possible. It's made of diamond blocks. There's gotta be valuables inside of that part of the house. Okay, I can't tell if my computer is dying of lag or if we're actually shrinking the right area of his house. Oh my gosh, wait, it's working. Oh, it's working, ladies and gentlemen. I'm bringing this far, far away. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Okay, okay, we are doing a great job. I'm bringing it far away from his house. Now I'm gonna reel it in. This is almost like fishing, but using a shrink ray and part of a house. A little bit closer, a little bit closer, and right there. Look at this behemoth. It looked so much smaller when it was shrunk. This is a problem. Oh gosh, where, where's the door? I think this sand is blocking the front entrance. So technically this is part of his roof. That means the entrance has got to be below the house. Come on. Yes. Wait, I think we found it. Yup. This has got to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, every single chest is filled to the brim with nine extra stacks of diamonds. This is the king slime that lives in the swamp right next to the Jelly's house. He gets really excited to see me, obviously being inside of the swamp. He doesn't get a lot of visitors other than witches and, you know, creatures basically that he doesn't want to see or hang out with. He also has a very special gift he's about to give to us that's going to allow us to steal Jelly's diamonds. Oh, <laughs> in fact, he just gave it to us. This is the slime box disguiser. I'm going to show you guys what this does once we get to Jelly's house. I just realized before I can show you guys what this this does, I have to hide next to Jelly's house. He's coming back as we speak. He's got a full set of iron gear on with an iron pickaxe. What is this handsome man up to? Oh, and by the way, if you're not already subscribed to Jelly's YouTube channel, you need to go subscribe to him. He makes amazing YouTube videos. When you're trying to troll your friends, patience is key. We've got to sit here and wait for him to leave his house so we can go inside and then disguise as his chest. Yes. Yes! Okay, Jelly is leaving the house. I think he's far enough. We just gotta wait for him to leave the render distance. Come on, Jelly! Yes! Now we just gotta sneak inside Jelly's house. I did some scouting earlier, and I found that he... Wait, he just left a diamond over... I'm gonna go ahead and take that free diamond. He left a big opening in his window over here to his house. Oh my gosh, he's got a security camera. I really hope that's not live. I don't think it is. I think we're gonna be okay. Now, I think this spot is really obvious, but at the same time, it's immediately when Jelly walks into his house. So we're going to disguise right here. Ladies and gentlemen, look at us. We are a beautiful slime chest just waiting for Jelly to hopefully put his diamonds inside of us. Oh, <laughs> okay. Jelly came back in his house. He doesn't have any iron gear on. I don't know what happened to his gear. I think he's taking a break to eat cake. Oh my God. Yes, Jelly. Yes. Put your diamonds in here. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh. He's going to put his diamonds in his chest. 
Let's go. Guys, Jelly just put 64 diamonds in our chest. Now it's time for us to leave very fast before he notices that we just got up and left. Oh my gosh. Wait, he's freaking out in the chat. Go, 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 go. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. Jelly's like, wait, where did they go? Oh, uh, Jelly. <laughs> Jelly, you're going the wrong way. If you guys thought this was an epic way to steal your friend's diamonds, just wait till you see the next one. The second way we're stealing Jelly's diamonds is we have the King Slime going up to befriend Jelly. I mean, there's no way he's not gonna wanna be friends with a King Slime. If you think about it, Jelly's kind of made of slime. Also, the King Slime owes me because I kind of saved him from some other slimes earlier today. Oh, dude, look. King Slime and Jelly are talking. Whatever the King Slime said definitely worked because he and Jelly are going off on a mining adventure to get more diamonds, which is exactly what we want. Okay, Jelly's coming back. I see King Slime right behind him. The objective was for King Slime to befriend Jelly, but then to say he lost Jelly's diamonds and then give them to us. I'm trying to get a good angle where I can spy on them. Oh no, Jelly's mad. Jelly says, what? Where are the diamonds? This is the rendezvous point King Slime and I agreed to meet at if he was successful in stealing the diamonds. And it looks like he got 48 more diamonds from Jelly. Let's go, baby. Okay, and apparently he's going back to distract him. I mean, how can you not love the King Slime? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video and you want to see King Slime come in our videos more, leave a like down below. He's just so cute. The third way to steal Jelly's diamonds is by making a paralysis potion. Yes, this actually works. Before we can make this potion, I need you guys to do me a huge favor. And also, before this spider kills me, I need you guys to take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. Did you hit the subscribe button? Okay, good. Now we can fight back and take out this spider. This isn't your ordinary spider, as you can tell. This is a Spider-Man spider. And he drops the one and only spider venom, which is the venom of the spider needed to make our paralysis potion. I don't know if y'all care, but this is my house, and this is where we are brewing the special potion. I've got a few bottles of water over here. We're going to add in our spider venom we got from the spider man. It sounds so weird saying it like that, I know. Not only does this potion use the special spider venom that we found in that cave, but you also want to add blaze powder to it. Whoop bam Look at this. Three splash potions of paralysis. These don't last very long, only 49 seconds. When we use these on Jelly, we have to be super fast. And of course, Jelly doesn't suspect us. I mean, why would he? He has no idea we were the slime chest or that we were working together with King Slime. So I'm going to see if he's going to answer the door for me. And when he opens the door, bam, hit him with the potion, sneak in, take the diamonds. Come on, Jelly, let me in. He's at the door. What's going on, bud? Oh my gosh, he's letting me in. This is Jelly's biggest mistake right now. Do you want to see how many diamonds I've been racking up? Yes, I do, Jelly, but at the same time, oh, this is making me feel like a terrible person. Oh no. Oh no. Where are the diamonds, Jelly? Let's see the diamonds. Oh, is this it? Oh my gosh. Gosh, there are so many diamonds. Jelly, I'm sorry. I gotta do this to you, bro. Take it. <laughs> sorry, Jelly. I gotta take the diamonds, bro. I really hate to do this to you. You're gonna be paralyzed for at least another 35 seconds. I love you, but I gotta go, bro. I gotta go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Minecraft has not added a paralysis potion to their game yet, but it might come soon. The next way we're gonna steal Jelly's diamonds is going over to Electronic Gym. This guy has insane gadgets in his store to allow us to steal diamonds. Jim, I need a way to steal my friend's diamonds. I totally misspelled steal. How do you misspell steal? <laughs> I think that's only a Preston thing. I've never misspelled that in my entire life until just now. All right, see, Jim gets it. He says, I have just what you're looking for. He gives me a set of Vortex armor. This will allow you to watch whoever wears the armor and it will suck up any drops near them. First of all, Jim, you are an amazing man. Second of all, why has Minecraft not added this armor to their game? This is overpowered, dude. I still can't believe Jim gave us this armor for free. All I'm saying though, is if somebody left this in a chest near my house, 100% I would put this on because this gear looks like bedrock obsidian gear, which means it looks amazing. All right, now we just gotta spam. <laughs> I'm trying to make as much noise as possible so Jelly comes to the front door and perfect. Let's get out of here. Come on, Jelly. 
Yes, take the armor. Take the armor. I know you want it. Open your chest, Jelly. Open your mailbox. Open the mailbox. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You are getting way too close to me, Jelly. I am feeling very nervous right now. I'm really glad he didn't check these bushes. Yes, he's talking about the armor. Put it on, Jelly. Put the armor on. If he puts the armor on, not only do we get to spy on him with a hidden camera, but we get to take every single drop he absorbs nearby. Dude, he put the armor on. I literally can't believe it. He actually put on the entire set of the Vortex armor. This means we can spy on him with a video camera and anytime he gets a drop nearby, we actually get the drop into our inventory. We are now officially in video mode on the armor spectating Jelly as he is mining in the mines. I got a question for Jelly though. Why is he not mining with a diamond pickaxe? He's using an iron pickaxe and I, I, I just, I don't know why. Like, <laughs> come on Jelly, you are a master at Minecraft. You should be using a diamond pickaxe. Oh no, he found diamonds too, bro. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I should have given him a fortune pickaxe with the gear. So when he mines all these diamonds, he gets a ton of extra ones, which just go right back into our inventory. Jelly must be one of the luckiest Minecraft players I've ever seen. He is literally finding diamond after diamond after diamond in this cave. But what Jelly doesn't know is all of the diamonds are going right back to our inventory. I just disabled the vortex armor and we have six 64 more diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Jelly's over here. He's just sad. I feel like we are giving Jelly a very rough day. He's not having a great time right now in the chat. He's really worried about his diamonds. And, well, he should be because we have stolen them. Well... We haven't stolen them. We're just borrowing them, okay? I don't know if this is true, but an hour ago, I rubbed a magical lamp and a genie told me he was going to meet me here in the desert next to Jelly's house to help me steal his diamonds. And I've been waiting here for over an hour. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. He just sent a message in the chat. Hello, did you say you had a wish? Oh, yes, I do, Mr. Genie. Um, okay, well that is one way to make a grand entrance. Yes, I did, Genie. I want to steal my friend's diamonds. I don't know if this goes against the Genie's terms of service. I feel like in the movie Aladdin, he wasn't able to steal things from people. Wait a second, okay, wait. Okay, he just, dude, he disappeared and dealt over three hearts worth of damage. He gave us a crafting table with a flute mouthpiece and a flute tube. I have never used one of these before in Minecraft. It creates a magical flute. Have you guys ever used a magical flute? Because if you have, tell me in the comments how to use this bad boy. I have no idea. This is like the Ocarina of Time from the Legend of Zelda video games, if you guys have ever played those. But I have no idea how to play the flute. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some movement on Jelly. I don't know what he's doing inside of his house, but I'm trying to spy on him. Wait, what did you say? Finally, now no one can get inside with my new security system. No! Jelly, why? No! I mean, to be fair, that was a smart choice, but at the same time, it's going to make it very hard to steal his diamonds. Diamonds are as safe as they can be. Nothing can get them. Considering we have no idea what this magical flute does, we're just going to try to use it and see if it even does anything. I'm gonna get as close as I can. I think he put his diamonds in these chests, but I can't open the door because they're locked. Okay, I right-click the flute, and it says it's beginning to play. What is happening? Um, wait a second! Wait a second, what? If I turn the flute on, diamonds phase through the walls and are now being absorbed into me. But if I right click again, it turns it off. What? What kind of magic did this genie give us? This is overpowered. I am stealing diamonds by doing almost nothing. I'm just... <laughs> What? Wait a second. How many diamonds are we going to get? We already have over 64 diamonds from using this flute. Are we going to get two stacks? Three stacks? How many diamonds are we going to get? This is... <laughs> Seven and a half stacks of diamonds later. And finally, Jelly has ran out of diamonds for now. This was the most low effort way to steal diamonds I have ever seen in my entire life. That's why I'm doing weird things with my hands right now, because I don't even know how to explain what just happened. Guys, it finally happened. Jelly added more defenses to his house so we can't sneak in anymore. So the only logical thing to do is to go back to Electronic Gym to see if he's got any more crazy gadgets. Jim, I need need a way to sneak past my friend's house defenses. What? Uh, oh, uh, Jim just gave us a portal gun? Wait a second, there's no... 
it works. We got to test this thing and make sure it actually works. I'm going to put one portal over here, another portal over here. It works. We got to do the infinite portal. Yes. Um, it is safe to say this portal gun works and is 100% legit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also dangerous. We all know the portal gun is overpowered, but we still need to have an opening to get inside of Jelly's house. Wait a second. Bruh, I'm such a pleb. There's literally an opening where the iron bars are. Oh, I'm such a goober. Okay, left click over here, right click in here, and oh my, that was too easy. Where does Electronic Gym get all of these overpowered gadgets? I gotta know. Oh man. Dude, upstairs, Jelly has a vault with an opening in it so we can just sneak right in. Literally just gonna open this chat. It's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, no, 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 no. Jelly, Jelly, you have way too many diamonds, my dude. Where did you get all of these? I can't even carry anymore. The only way that we're gonna be able to hold all of these diamonds is to turn them into diamond blocks. So I'm going to shoot a orange portal out here. I'm going to use one of Jelly's crafting tables in his house to turn these all to blocks of diamonds. I, I like literally, I've got no other way to carry these. I have officially lost track of how many diamonds we have taken from Jelly. Uh, I've got too many. I've done a lot of pranking videos where I've taken diamonds from my friends, but nobody's ever had anywhere near as many as Jelly does. That just means Jelly's like a beast at Minecraft. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final way to steal diamonds from Jelly. Are you ready? This is my custom-made Jello shop just so we could trick Jelly into buying Jello using some of his diamonds. We're just gonna get nice and cozy behind this counter. And of course, we all know Jelly's gonna come to the shop. I mean, come on, it's a Jello shop. Speaking of the handsome man himself, he's still wearing the Vortex armor. How does he not realize there's a giant camera on the front? I think it's better if we just don't tell him ever. It's a Jello shop! Maybe Jelly doesn't like Jello, but I feel like his name is Jelly, so he's gotta like Jelly or Jello, you know, things that start with J. Our boy Jelly wants a ultra sized pack of Jello. Those are pretty expensive. That's going to be 43 diamonds, my good sir. And that is with the friend discount, by the way. Just saying. That's a lot, but I can't say no to Jello. <laughs> Well, I think it's confirmed now. Jelly likes Jello. All right, Jelly, your Jello is ready behind the shop to be picked up. I can't carry any Jello on our shelves because we haven't had them installed yet. I forgot to do it before setting up this prank, but I'll go ahead and take payment now, smiley face. Who can say no to a smiley face? People love when people smile. <laughs> no, no. He just threw 43 diamonds so fast. While he's going around back to the shop, it's time for us to bolt. Um, there might not be any Jello behind the shop. I'm sorry, Jelly. Jelly, I love you. The first way we're going to be stealing Sunday's diamonds is by making a special cage and bolt cutters and also a paintbrush. This is no ordinary iron cage. As you can see, I can place this down wherever I want to. And when you place it down, the iron bars disappear. And using the paintbrush that we made earlier, we can change the color of the cage. So watch, I can paint this and make it look like regular glass. I can even paint the bottom of the cage to look like any kind of texture I want. So I'm gonna make it look like grass. If I walk up into the section, boom, you get caged. And the only way to get out is by using special bolt cutters, which of course, Sunday does not have. Let's see, I'm gonna place the cage right here. Now, using our paintbrush, once again, we are going to color this to be grass colored. Before painting the cage, we're gonna place down two blocks of diamond to lure Sunday in. Bam, now we're going to make the cage invisible. So now, like, dude, if you saw this, you can't tell me that you wouldn't walk up to it and try to mine these diamond blocks. Even I would try to mine them. <laughs> now, here comes the best part. We're gonna drink the invisibility potion, try to be as sneaky as possible, and wait for Sunday to log back in. He just logged back in. Oh, no. Come on, come on. Where's Sunday at? Where is he? Guys, Sunday's leaving his front door. Oh, my gosh. He might actually see the diamonds. Stop talking about how beautiful of a day it is, Sunday. Although the weather is beautiful today. Wait, he sees the diamonds. Go for the diamonds, Sunday. Go for the diamonds. I know you can't resist them. He's taking his sweet time and it is literally killing me on the inside. Grab them. He's going up to them. Please. Oh my gosh, please. Wait, 
Let's go, baby! I cannot believe how well that worked. Oh, look at him. He's trying to mine out with a diamond pick. It's not gonna work, buddy. If only Sunday had these beautiful red bolt cutters, he could probably get out of the cage. We don't have a lot of time to banter, ladies and gentlemen. We need to go get his diamonds and get out. Where did he put all of his diamonds? If I were a Sunday, where would I hide the diamonds inside of my house? Come on, Preston. We gotta think fast. We don't got a lot of time. Diamonds? Diamonds? Where? <laughs> Dude, where are the diamonds? Yes! We got the diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, and that is a lot of diamonds. Don't forget, this was only the first way to steal Sunday's diamonds. There are six more, and I need everybody right now to leave a like on this video so we can get the ultimate payback on Sunday. The second way to steal Sunday's diamonds is brilliant, if I do say so myself. We are going to be making a diamond safe using a custom diamond lock with eight blocks of iron. You pop this bad boy in the crafting table or microwave or whatever you wanna call it, and boom, you get a safe transformer. Now you can see, when we open up the safe, we have two inventories, our regular inventory, and then whatever is inside of the safe. Nobody else can open this except for us. Oh, somehow Sunday managed to escape from our cage. Come on, Sunday, I need you to leave. Yes, that's right, Sunday, leave your house. Now the big concern is how has Sundy added any kind of defenses to his house since we were last here? Oh, I can't believe we are. <laughs> Dude, this is so believable. There is no way he is going to be able to resist putting diamonds into his safe. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure you take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, and make that red subscribe button gray, and enable those notifications. Because one day, we will have a 10 mil sub black. Wait a second, hold on, wait, Sunday's back, Sunday? Sunday, wait, I was trying to do something. Oh, he's got diamonds. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, he opened me up. He literally just opened me up and put diamonds inside of me. Look at the diamonds on the inside. Let's go. Okay, Sunday, you've put your diamonds in me. I need you to leave, please. What are you doing? No, 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 you need to, you gotta, you gotta go, bro. You gotta, <laughs> my guy, yes. Sunday is leaving and going upstairs, which means it is time for us to leave this area. Okay, go, 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 Preston, we gotta hustle. I think we are safe underneath this tree. Five stacks of diamonds. Not quite as much as the first time, but I know Sunday has even more hidden diamonds in his house. Oh, guys. We've got a problem. I can no longer open Sunday's door, which means he's on to us. He knows something is going on and he's added extra defenses to his house. In fact, I can't even break his windows anymore. If I try to break the windows, they replenish immediately. I didn't think we were gonna have to use this method to steal Sunday's diamonds so soon, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Place four blocks of diamonds around a lot of TNT and you get diamond TNT blocks. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but we're going to zoom in on the top of the block and you can see a very faint hint of TNT. But to be honest, other than that, it looks just like a regular diamond block. For demonstrational purposes only, I am going to fill this chest with some extra diamonds I have, one of the secret TNT diamond blocks, and using the explosive diamond detonator, if this works how I remember it does, diamonds should go everywhere. Okay, but I gotta stand kind of far back because it's kind of an explosion. Three, two, one, no! Did it work? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that worked so well. This is the tricky part. We've got Sunday on the second story. I'm gonna drop one of these blocks down here, spam his door, and hopefully he comes inside and picks up the block. Come on, all right, I think that's enough spamming. All right, go, 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 hide. Hide, Preston, hide. Drink that invisibility potion, boy. I think our door spamming annoyed him. He's definitely coming outside. Oh, pick it up. Yes, Sunday, pick up that, pick that block up. Don't you, yes, he picked it up. Oh my gosh, but is he, whoa, 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 whoa. Way too close, Sunday, chill, chill. What if he notices the TNT on top of the diamond block? I don't know why I added that. I just thought it looked really nice. Wait a second, okay. Please put it inside of your chest, Sunday. So here's the problem. I don't know if Sunday is placing it inside of his diamond chest. He could be placing it anywhere, but it only works inside of a chest that's filled with other diamonds. All right, dude, it's time in three, two, one, yeet. Wait, yeah! 
Yes! Oh, look at all of those diamonds. Oh, Sunday's probably so mad right now. I am going to just get out of here as fast as I can before Sunday notices somebody was outside of his house. I never like killing Endermen because they are very cute but yet aggressive creatures, but we need to kill them. We are going to be transforming into an Enderman to steal Sunday's diamonds. Is it possible? Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you. Not only do we need Ender Pearls to transform into an Enderman, but we also need an Enderman's head. I can tell. This Enderman's definitely gonna drop one. Come on, Enderman. And there we go. <laughs> we got a free grass block as well. This is almost as delicate as real life surgery, but we have to place eight Ender Pearls in the crafting table with the Enderman head in the middle. And we get an Enderman Transformer. But wait, there's more. Using two sticks and one ender pearl, we get a teleporter. Oh, dude, look at how cool this looks. Hey, what is that? Hey, what? Hey, guys, you're stealing blocks from my house. That's not okay. Okay, this kind of hurts a little bit when you turn into the enderman, but let's go. Yeet, transform. You are now an enderman, which means we can use the teleporting staff to teleport to any location. So the main problem with the teleporting staff is you can't necessarily choose where you teleport. It just kind of tells teleports you around the area, kind of like if you eat a chorus fruit. Before we teleport into Sunday's house, do me a favor, everybody. If you haven't already, check out the Preston Styles merch at PrestonStyles.com. We got brand new headbands, t-shirts, hoodies, all kinds of cool stuff for you guys and gals. Yeah, and it looks like it. Sunday's doors are still locked, and I still cannot break any of his windows. Here we go. Three, two, one, yay! No! My guy! Come on, teleport me. Eventually, this is going to work. Oh, wow, it actually worked on the second try. That was way too lucky. <laughs> Look at this, sunday has got, like, hamburgers on the floor. What is he doing with hamburgers on the floor? They go in your mouth, Sunday, not on the floor. I know he's got those diamonds somewhere. We already took the diamonds from this chest. Wait a second. <gasps> Three stacks of diamonds for Preston. Yo, Sunday must be getting low on diamonds. I don't know how many diamonds we blew up earlier, but it might have been a lot. Maybe I should have been a little bit more careful with how many diamonds I exploded. Um, okay, now I got to figure out how do I get down from here? Oh my gosh, there is really no safe way to turn into an Enderman and use this teleporting staff. It's completely at random, but I love it. Oh, dude, I can't believe we have to do this, but we actually have to tame a phantom. Yeah, that's right. This isn't clickbait. This phantom guy who keeps damaging me, we need to tame him because we need him to steal the diamonds from the Sunday. Fun fact, my mom always calls Sunday, Sunday. You can't eat Sunday. He's not ice cream. This phantom is kind of bullying me. It's a bit of a delicate process. You put three gold ingots like this to get the mouthpiece, four more to make the base of the phantom charmer. Then you combine these two together to get the full phantom charmer. I don't know if this actually works 100%. Here goes nothing. Is it working? Oh, it's working. Yes. Wow. I can't believe it was that easy to tame a phantom. Why have I not used this earlier? Oh, look at him. Finally. Oh my gosh. Yo, dude, this is so cool. Look at this. He's actually not attacking us. He's our friend. Just like with a dog, I'm going to teach this phantom how to take diamonds. Bring me the diamond, Fanty. I'm going to call him Fanty. I think it's a cute name. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, dude. What? Oh! What? Okay, seriously? Maybe phantoms are just way smarter than dogs, but that never worked with my dog on the first try. And I've been trying to get him to steal Brianna's diamonds for a long time. I need you to listen up here, Fanty. This is your big test. This is Sunday's house. Bring me Sunday's diamonds. Come on, you can do it, Fanty. We practiced this, remember? You were born for this mission. Go, Fanty. Go and steal those diamonds from the Sunday. He's going into Sunday's chimney. He's like a reverse Santa Claus. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting worried. I haven't heard anything from Fanty. How did Fanty get inside through the chimney? There's no way. Where did he go? <gasps> yes, Fanty's opening up chests. Take those diamonds. Yes. Yes, Fanty. He's getting more diamonds. Wait, I just saw him go up the chimney. Fanty, you are a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't leave a like for Fanty, come on. Fanty, bring me those diamonds, you handsome man, you. Oh my gosh. Five stacks of diamonds for Fanty. You know what, Fanty? You get to keep a diamond because you are such a good boy. There you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Things are starting to heat up now that we've stolen so many diamonds from Sunday. We are in a cave system right now looking for the fabled magic. Magicite ore. If you're familiar with my videos, it looks something 
like this. It's basically a living and breathing ore. And when you mine it, you get this incredibly epic magicite orb. And using a crafting table, you can then craft the magicite staff. This thing is so overpowered, when you right-click a block, it becomes phaseable, which means you can now walk into it. Oh, dude, this is so cool! So what I can keep doing- Oh my gosh, okay, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. I almost just died with the Magicite 1. That would have been so embarrassing. Oh, -ho. we're invisible right now in front of Sunday's house. Look at those diamonds! Dude, I thought for sure we blew up all of his diamonds with a TNT detonator. No. Of course, Sunday had a hidden vault from us the entire time. You know what? I'm not even gonna wait for Sunday to leave his house. Okay, we gotta be really careful about how we use this thing, though. I don't know if we can phase from this section of the house. I think it's working. Oh my gosh, it's working. Dude, look at us. Where are we? Okay, there's a block above our head. We gotta phase this. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that. Wait, can we? Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, Sunday just left his house. Dude, we can also use this as an escape route. Like, check this out. We just got to go right back into it, and we are golden. All right, Sunday. And you know what? Just in case if Sunday decides to come back early, I am going to use this on the two blocks in front of his door. So when he tries to come into it, he's going to fall into it. I saw those diamonds up there, Sunday. Oh, this is so cute. Look, he thinks this vaulted door is going to keep me from getting inside. The Magicite one says, nah, -uh, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cactus! There are so many diamond blocks inside of here! Dude! And even the chest inside of here have diamonds inside of them! What?! <laughs> Wait a second! Guys! I accidentally used the Magicite staff on the diamond blocks, and we can no longer mine these. I've got enough diamonds to keep me happy for a very long time. What if we turn all of these diamond blocks into troll blocks? If we use the Magicite 1 on all of these blocks, Sunday will never be able to mine these again. Guys, this is literally the ultimate troll. We are walking through all of the diamond blocks, which can no longer be mined. All right, I'm getting out of here, guys. We're gonna go out through the roof. Wait a second, I am now in Sunday's attic. I do not want to be here. All right, we're dropping through. Whoa, okay, we went too deep. Oh no! Um, guys, okay, you know what? Eventually, we will find a way to get out and be safe with the diamonds we collected from Sunday's house. Oh, what? I think Sunday has officially lost his mind. His house is literally covered in a giant obsidian case. It's like a sarcophagus. I have never seen somebody do this. And I have stolen diamonds from a lot of different YouTubers. Whoa, dude. He made a roof out of glass, but we still can't break it. How does this guy get materials that are so strong? Is that a nether portal? <laughs> He's got a nether portal. I think that's the only way he can leave his house right now. Whoa, look at him in the chat. I'd like to see someone break in now. You hear me out there? He still has no, wait, he just went, oh. Why did he just go into the nether? You might not notice it right away, but look at this. That is Sunday's house. This is a duplicate of Sunday's house. It took me so long to make this, so please don't ask how long it took. You, you, you really don't wanna know. And to prove to you guys that I made this house, if I try to break the glass, it actually breaks. This is a nether portal swapper. This is going to allow me to swap the nether portals from this one all the way over to Sunday's nether portal. Now that the portals have been swapped, when he comes back from the nether, he's going to think he's inside of his house, but really, he's inside of the replica house I spent way too long building. Time to glup up another invisibility potion. I've gotta walk all the way back to the duplicate house. This is gonna take some time. Shh, I can hear Sunday coming back. Come on. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's coming back with his diamonds. How did you get diamonds from the nether? Wait, unless, does Sunday have a secret nether diamond vault? Bruh, I would have never thought about putting diamonds in the nether to keep them safe. Not in a million years. What you see behind me currently is my little sister's house. And this is my little sister. This also is my Instagram. And if you haven't followed it, you should. It's at real TBNR frags. Oh, and by the way, if you don't have a sister, then you probably don't know this. But they are notorious for stealing and hoarding diamonds and keeping them away from their older or younger brothers. And that's why we are making a magnet. Yes, I am not 
not clickbaiting you. This is a diamond magnet that will magnetize all nearby diamonds from chests anywhere in the vicinity. That means area. I ordered this magnet off of a very, very random website, so I don't know how strong it is exactly, but we are going to test it out and see how insane it is. On the website, it said it could pull diamonds literally through a house. I don't know if that's true, but we are about to test it out. I know there are chests inside of there filled with diamonds. Without further ado, right click. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. All of the diamonds from my sister's chest are literally just being absorbed into me. It's like I'm eating hot noodle soup. Keep them coming. Don't stop them. Okay, how many diamonds does my little sister have? I... <laughs> Um, okay, I feel a little bad now. I feel like we're stealing too many diamonds. I'm going to just sit here for a couple minutes and see how many she really has. Well, now we have over four stacks of diamonds. I'm going to try to run away from my sister's house and see if the diamonds stop coming to us. I mean, there's no way this magnet can be that strong. This magnet may not be available in some countries. We are still getting my little sister's diamonds from like hundreds of feet away from her house. This is insane. If you guys love this way to steal your little sister's diamonds, you are not going to believe what is next. So make sure you stick around. I'm just gonna sit here, absorb diamonds, and go change into a new hoodie. Be right back. All right, guys, here's my nice, cute little house. We're just, uh, just like, let me just show off my house first. It's just so cute because, like, I got these cute little chairs, this little table set up. Anyway, I've got this chest of diamonds in here, and we're gonna make some nice little stuff with my diamond. Where's my diamond? What the heck? Y'all, I really had diamonds in this chest. What's going on? Where's my diamonds? They're not in there. What the heck? I might be going crazy. This is probably my favorite way to steal diamonds from my little sister. What I have in my inventory may seem like a regular chest, but it is not. When we right-click this, we actually turn into a chest. And obviously, when Keely puts her diamonds, I think she's actually in the mines right now with the Fortune 3 pickaxe and an Efficiency 5. Working hard, mining diamonds. And once she comes back to her house, she's going to want to deposit those. But instead, she's going to be actually putting the diamonds inside of me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to break this chest. We have no need for this pleb chest. No, 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 no. Now that we've scooped up all the chest, we have to wait very, very patiently for Keely. I don't know when she's going to come back from the mines, but right click. As long as I'm not holding another item in my chest, I literally look like a chest. This by far is the coolest way to steal diamonds. All right. If you have seen a cooler way to steal diamonds, please let me know in the comments. But I just don't think it is possible. So now we lie and wait for Keely to come back from her mining adventure. Well, I guess while we are waiting for my sister to return and give me her diamonds, go ahead and take your device. Make that red subscribe button as gray as the moon, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to see no red subscribe button. <gasps> Wait. Guys, that was such a long day of mining. Oh, my God. Gosh, we was out there for so long. I see Keely's name tag. Wait, there it is. <laughs> oh, see, I told you she had the Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pickaxe. <gasps> She's got diamonds. Did you guys see that? I saw diamonds in her hand. Oh, I'm scared. What's she doing? Did I have this chest here before? No, no, no. Don't, don't put your diamonds anywhere else. Put your diamonds in this chest. Why is she looking at other places? I don't know how many diamonds she has. Oh, I hope she has a lot. I'm gonna put some of my uh, diamonds in this chest because I just wanna make sure that these are all set in place and that they are secure and ready to go. She put the diamonds in, but nothing happened. Wait, where are the diamonds? Uh-oh. Where's she going? Is she going upstairs? Dude, she's going upstairs. All right, guys, we're in my room. I think I'm gonna just take a nice little nap. I'm gonna just do that and my diamonds are downstairs. Nice, safe, and sound. Okay, I think this is the perfect time we can sneak out now. And let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. I'm getting out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot let Keely know. For now, I'm going to hide in the well. Look at how many diamonds she had. 52 diamonds. She is going to be so mad when she sees that all of her diamonds she mined are gone. Guys, what a good nap that was. I am so well rested. Watched some good Netflix. I mean, but like, let's look at my character. She's looking pretty fire, but I have all those diamonds I collected in the mine. So now we're going to go back down and get those diamonds, make some nice diamond armor, little Gucci. Wait, am I crazy? There was a Where'd that chest go? There was literally a chest right here and I put all my diamonds in it. 
What the heck? I was just trying to take a nap. Shoo! I'm so excited for this one. This is the paintbrush secret way to steal diamonds from your beloved sister who happens to have red hair. Does your sister or brother have red hair? If so, comment. So I'm sure you guys see this paintbrush in my inventory and you probably see all these gold blocks and these blocks of iron. Well, what we can do with this is we can actually paint the iron and the gold blocks to look exactly like diamond blocks. So basically we're creating fake diamonds for my sister. All you have to do to make this work is you pick up your paintbrush and so watch, I'm going to separate these nine blocks of iron. I'm going to paint them individually. Look at this. You left click the paintbrush and then you right click the blocks you want to paint into diamond blocks. So if you hover above them, they're still actually blocks of iron. But if I put them down in my sister's house, there is no way she's going to be able to tell that this is not a block of diamond. And in fact, it is a block of gold. Actually, no, it's not a block of gold. It's actually a block of iron. You remember we broke this last time, so she's placed it down and put eight stacks of diamond blocks. So all we have to do is paint eight stacks of iron blocks and gold blocks and replace them to save time. Obviously, I'm just going to paint the entire stack of all of the blocks. I don't want to confuse the fake ones with the original ones. So I am going... Look at this! This is so confusing. You have to be really careful when you're doing this, this prank. So I'm going to take these eight blocks of diamonds, replace them with the blocks of iron and gold. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you trick your little sister into believing that all of her blocks of diamonds are safe in her house, in her chest, when in fact her older brother has exchanged them for lesser valuable blocks. I know I'm a genius. I don't require any praise. So please, please, don't, don't praise me or anything like that. <sighs> Oh, man, I cannot wait to see Keely's reaction to this. Why is it iron? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on. Why is it iron? What? Preston must be behind this somehow. Oh, my gosh. Is this a wishing well? <gasps> Guys, I love wishing wells. I used to go to them all the time when I was a kid, throw in some cute little coins. I don't have coins today, but it says wishing well diamonds only, and I have some in my inventory, so that is perfect. Let's just make a couple little wishes. I wish Shawn Mendes would marry me. I wish that Preston would stop being annoying. I wish that I... Oh. I didn't even get to wish anything for that one. Whoops. This next one to get your little sister's diamonds is actually pure genius. Only the most brilliant of cacti could come up with this. Okay, well, to be honest, Floopy actually helped me come up with it. This may look like an ordinary wishing well, but deep down in this wishing well, very, very deep, there are hoppers that are actually going to be collecting the diamonds. As you can see out here, we have this beautiful pattern design with these trap doors. It looks, you know, it doesn't look suspicious or anything like that, but... If you right-click a trap door and open it, you might find something. Ta-da! This right here goes all the way down to the bottom of the wishing well where I can actually collect all of the diamonds that my little sister has been throwing into the well. And apparently, Keely has a lot of wishes because there are over 12 stacks of diamonds down here. Holy moly! I am just going to take all of these because why not? I can't believe she has thrown this many diamonds. I mean, look, I know it's a wishing well, Keely, but it's a diamond wishing well. Where is she getting all of these diamonds from? That is my biggest concern. Is she stealing them from our other siblings? Like my little brothers? Maybe she's stealing them from my parents? Or maybe Keely is a black market diamond dealer. No, that couldn't possibly be it. Now, I don't know if you watched my other video where I showed you guys the fastest way to find diamonds in Minecraft, but we used this little guy. He's called the Diamond Hunter Pet. You can not only spawn him to go mine you diamond ore, but he will also steal diamonds from nearby chests. And as we know, my sister somehow has the most diamonds of any Minecraft player I have ever seen. I mean, I have done a lot of Let's Plays in Minecraft, and I've still never managed to get as many diamonds as my little sister has. And to be honest with you, the coast is looking clear like we can put down the Diamond Hunter pet, so here we go. Go, my friend! Go and take... Oh, no, where's he going? Oh, no, oh, oh goodness. Oh, no. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. Okay, so this does happen, unfortunately, every now and again. The Diamond Hunter pet loves diamonds so much, so we're gonna have to spawn in a new one. Go, my minion! Go and get my sister's diamonds! I will be waiting for you right here. I don't want to be too obvious, so I'm going to stake out right in this location. Uh-oh. 
Has he betrayed? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, <laughs> perfect. So what he actually does is he goes and get, oh my gosh, he got me so many diamonds. He actually goes and gets the diamonds and then turns back into an egg. He's basically like a Pokemon, but for diamonds. Now, the only problem I have is that we have too many diamonds and I don't want my sister to catch me. So I'm going to throw all of them into this wishing well and try to get the rest of them. There we go. And I'm sure you guys remember all of the diamonds in the wishing well. Just go back to me anyway. So why don't we go ahead and put everything inside of there, including our diamond hunter pet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at all those diamonds going right back into my pockets. All right, guys. Weird things have been happening. All my diamonds have been disappearing. I just don't know what's going on. Like, they're gone. I literally, I just, I'm so confused. I don't know how this happened. But I got more diamonds. Are we ready to go? I'm gonna just throw them in this chest. A little 24 diamond set. We are ready to go. Hopefully they don't disappear because guys, I really can't take it anymore. If they disappear, I don't know what is going on. I must be absolutely insane. Someone must be messing with me. I just don't know what's going on. Don't ask me how long it took, but I managed to build a secret tunnel underneath my little sister's house. It's actually a very, very big secret tunnel and it took me very long. All I'm trying to say is if maybe Keely purchased PrestonStyles.com fire merch, we wouldn't be in this situation. Like maybe if she picked up the new Smile Fire hoodie or the Ice Fire t-shirt, I would have forgiven her. But no, now I'm on a mission to steal her diamonds in the craziest ways possible. Oh my, this, okay, I actually feel a little bit dirty doing this, but check this out. We're gonna break this one slab right here and then boom, oh my gosh. An entire double chest of diamonds. If we do the math very quick, this is nine by six. So if we do nine times six. We get a number. That's probably pretty high. Look, guys, I'm not in school, okay? I don't gotta do math. We're going to run a tunnel with hoppers out. Like so. Oh, this is where it gets tricky. E there we go. Okay, now we gotta keep it going this way. Yes. Come on, hoppers. Keep siphoning those diamonds. Once the diamonds reach all through the hoppers, and there's actually a lot of hoppers, they're going to be going to this chest, which I now probably should make another chest. And yes, I realized earlier I put the hoppers backwards, okay? I just fixed them. But check it out. The diamond siphon is happening so beautifully. It just takes a lot longer than the magnet that I showed you guys earlier, but it's still a really good way to steal diamonds because this way it goes into a chest, not into my inventory just in case, you know, maybe a random bear attacks me and kills me or some other nonsense. This is the safest way to steal diamonds from your sister. And remember, as always, ladies and gentlemen, do not tell my little sister Keely, okay? She does not need to know. Guys, I just took a nice little walk around the park. I left my house. I walked all the way around over there, went and saw this little shroom over here. It's so cute. This little island over here is just chilling. I just, I just had a nice little walk, and I'm just gonna come back and make sure that my diamonds are here because I just put them in there. And they're missing again! What the heck? Are you kidding me? This is crazy! I just had my diamonds in here! What the actual heck is going on? That's it! I'm getting extra security for this stupid freaking house! So it looks like Keely actually caught on to the fact that we've been stealing her diamonds. So she built a vault. And I literally had to take a helicopter in just to land on top of the vault. Oh, bye, John. Thanks for the lift, bro. Appreciate it. He's such a great pilot. Anyways, back to the heist. We need to find a place to break into the bank. Oh, this should be perfect. Yes. All right, very sneaky-like. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we're just gonna fall. Wait, is there slime underneath this carpet or am I about to take a lot of damage? Um... Oh, I'm just about to take a lot of damage. Yeah, no big deal. Lost half of my hearts. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> We've got signs. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. Oh, maybe we should not go back here then. But I'm a man of courage. We're going in. Oh my gosh. Gold blocks? More gold blocks? More gold blocks? Uh, nothing. Sandstone. Well, this is unfortunate. Oh, what is behind this iron door? Diamonds. Diamonds. These are... This is Keely's diamonds. I need to get back here, but the door is locked. How do we unlock it? There's gotta be a key somewhere. Hold on, where's the key at? Where's the key at? Come on, you key. Oh, that was way too easy. I feel like we were not supposed to find this like this, but uh, okay, when you ask for lemonade, life will give you the lemons. Here we go. Ah, worked like butter on a biscuit. Oh my gosh, look at all of these diamonds. 
Well, well, I, I, these are some very, very bad bank tellers. I don't know how they didn't realize that I am now inside of my little sister's vault mining all of her diamonds. Have a great, wonderful, fun, and safe day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.